Hello everyone, welcome to the Steel Donut Collective. I'm here with Bob. Mm-hmm. And Yella. Good day. Yeah, that guy. And we are here on not the Creepypasta Wiki, but Geoshay's Creepypasta Wiki, where Geoshay saves crappy stories that get deleted from the Creepypasta Wiki. All yes. 1,906 of them so far. Good. Doing God's work. <laughs> Oh man, God God bless the moderators on the Creepypasta Wiki. Yeah. I dedicate this story to them. Or yeah. this reading right. story, I guess. <laughs> this is Drake and Josh, the Lost Episode. Oh man, those Lost Episode process. Very original so premise. Uh, Very original. Mm -hmm. I've, never saw, no has, I've never seen something like that before, ever. It, no one has ever it's done unique. one of these before. But Alright, there's no description, so... Uh, we'll go into it. I'll be, I think I'll be the narrator. Yes, please. I assigned myself the role of narrator. Hiya! My name is Rick Lander. I once had a unique and creepy experience involving a season four disc of Drake and Josh. I, I also at... enjoy pasta, which is why I'm writing this creepy pasta. Yeah, I love <laughs> Chef Boyardee. My favorite mm. chef. I was at a I was at a yard sale in Salem, New Hampshire. I saw oh. a disc of Drake and Josh season four and thought I should buy it. I approached Whoa. a tall, slender woman, oh, slender <gasps> man, oh, who was Scary. running the sale. Oh my god! She wore a pinstripe suit. Uh oh, what? I, I know she's when I, running I, a, what, I she's running a yard sale and she's wearing a pinstripe suit. You're she's a wearing dress, lady. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, Pop, unless the that, suit's also for sale. Pop, remember that one time you went to a yard sale? You can sale? buy it directly off of her body. There's yeah. just a guy there uh, in a, a double-breasted suit smoking a Cuban. Yeah. <laughs> and he's just like, hey, you know, buy what you want. He DVDs. pulled an entire fireplace out to put on his lawn. He's like, hey, you he know, was... buy what you want. I can make you a deal. DVDs are a dollar, and I don't budge on that, you know? He was actually he's he was actually wearing like an indoor like a, a smoking jacket and he a had his jacket. cigar. Uh, he had a pipe and he was reading a a book of Tennyson and and just like, oh, would you like a you, you'd like everything's for sale, you know. You can have the fireplace if you want, six hundred dollars. Pick out what you want for a fireplace. Yeah. yeah. So, lady in a business. Would you like that here. Drake and Josh season four disc? It's on sale too. Yeah. So there's a lady in a pinstripe suit, and she was sipping a glass of water. She asked what the matter was. <laughs> okay. Okay. For some reason. <laughs> hmm. He seems anxious about this. Hey, what's the matter? <laughs> She asked what the matter was, and I just said I was hoping to buy the DVD and asked how much it was. She said I could have it for free. I said, oh, I'll, okay. buy <laughs> I'll buy and it. I'll buy it. It's with the free. DVD. I'll buy it. If you can As buy I the left. measly price yeah. of D's 99. <laughs> yeah. As I left, I could have sworn I heard her say, Thank God it's off. That's off my hands. <laughs> <laughs> but it had Thank to be God. my imagination. I hate Drake and Josh. <laughs> That's a fucking terrible show. I don't even know how I got the disc. <laughs> I think my nephew left it. I got home and sat down on the couch just looking at the disc. It was in oh, like man. perfect oh, condition. And I got it for free. I wondered if <gasps> I could fit my pencil dick in the hole in the middle, but before I could <laughs> oh, watch it. Drake, Josh. It showed Drake and Josh just standing next to each other in an outside environment. Upon oh closer God. examination, I saw Megan standing in the far distance with her arms folded and a creepy grin on her face. I didn't care why, so I just proceeded to open the case. Wait, the oh, disc is on the oh. outside of the case? Mm -hmm. Apparently. Right. Inside was the disc. The disc had special copy written in Sharpie on it, so I was left wondering why it was special. Maybe it contained bonus material? Maybe someone just decided to write that to get the buyer's hopes up? That's a great oh, selling yeah. tactic. Oh man, my hopes got so up for this thing I bought for free. It's, I re yeah, I'm really hoping that people will, will buy this for free. It's like when I was trying. It was like when I was trying to sell my car. I made sure to like get a can of spray paint, paint on the front, front you know, Sprint Rally Edition. Special car. Yes, yeah, special, special car. car. So now every yes. and then sure enough, I got an extra one thousand dollars for that Civic. I got an extra zero dollars for it. Yeah, I gave it away. As they I drove gave it off, away for free, uh, and I as got they an drove extra off, zero dollars. As they drove off, uh, I hope they didn't hear me say, Thank God, that's off of my hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. I So, he, why did they just decide to write that to get the buyer's hopes up? I didn't know. 
I popped it into the TV and went into episode select. Since season four was the last season, I wanted to watch the last episode, which I was very fond of. It was why there. Is this, why is this Rick Lander guy so in love with Drake and Josh? I mean, <laughs> I don't it wasn't that's like what, the worst show, but that, calm down. That's why I'm well, giving him was, this exuberant it, voice. <laughs> it, it, I mean, it, yeah. It was there, but what I saw interested me more. There was an episode after it. The episode was called Megan's Big Day. I assume maybe it one was. One of my Tony favorite show, Drake and Josh? <gasps> but I thought it ended on episode four, season four. And it, and it was called... <gasps> Everything is a lie. How many uh, Lost episode stories have, insert character's name here, Big Day? And Squidward's Big Day. Yeah, it's always <laughs> someone's big day, and that big day just involves them killing all the other characters, and then it ends with them looking at the screen saying, I see you. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah, no joke. <laughs> I haven't gotten that far in Drake and Josh. The <laughs> last Josh episode. In the Drake and Josh <laughs> canon. Yeah, Drake and Josh canon. I thought maybe it was a planned episode and was canceled, and this DVD might have been the only known recording of it. You know, yeah. I love I love making a bunch of logical, or well, illogical leaps. leaps. <laughs> yeah, just, just leaps. I like I like to think that what I have is amazing and unique. With that thought in mind, I jumped up and let out a weird geekish squeal. <laughs> yeah, that and... sounded... That's classic Rick Lander's squeal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't be Rick Lander's if he didn't squeal like that. Why is his name Rick Lander? <laughs> Why did we get a name? Um, Why has it got to be such a bad name? Hi, I, guys. It's me, Rick Lander's. This is my story about my favorite show, Drake and Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I was fooled completely. I almost immediately selected the episode. Almost, almost. immediately. I just hesitated for a split second. Very yeah. important that you know this. The interest started up as usual. However, as usual. Playing... Nothing as unusual. Well. Ever. Why'd you mention it? Yet! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> However, the song playing on the intro seemed to be slower than usual, and the scene oh. was deeper. Oh Wait. no! Oh, a, a, a slight oh, you change love in music. And Josh. It's gonna take some time to realize, <laughs> <laughs> but if you look inside, I'm sure you'll find over no, your that's shoulder. Slower, you know slower than that. that. Yeah, you have to slow down and be sing. Picking you up when you're down. Perfect. And so just turn around. Oh my god, my name is Rick Landers, and this is actually my preferred version of the song. (laughs) No, I haven't seen Drake and Josh. This was what the original recording was like, when they pitched it to to Nickelodeon. You know, that that, that section of our reading was benefited greatly by me remembering the Drake and Josh theme, despite not having not Uh, having seen the show since it was on the air. I still remember it. Yeah. And also uh, being a bass. So those Rick Landers. <laughs> I, I always knew that, that bass range of mine would come in handy someday. Singing a slowed down version called... of the Drake and Josh theme. <laughs> I, I, I actually think they should have named the show Josh and Drake because Josh was a way better character than Drake. <laughs> he was. He was more fleshed out. But, but I was. guess they went with Drake and Josh instead. They thought it had a better ring to it. I disagree. Yeah. The true fans know it should be Josh and Drake. Yeah, all the true fans know. All the true fans, which is me. I yeah. am all the true fans. I maintain fans. the Drake and Josh wiki. I, I, yeah. have, so. I have all the credentials. I have a signed copy of season one and two. Not three, though. Season three was shit. Season three was like the low point. Uh, but then it picked up really well with season four. Wait, wasn't yeah. that the season that had the really good movie? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I've never know. seen this bullshit show. Who do you think I am? Rick Landers? <laughs> uh, it's Rick Lander. Rick Landers? Actually, I'm changing my name to Josh and Rick Landers. I think it's just Lander. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I thought my mind was just playing tricks on me. The episode started up with a panoramic shot of the outside of their house. Then it showed Drake and Josh in their room. Drake was playing the guitar on the couch, and Josh was pacing back and forth, reading a textbook out loud. Drake asked Josh to stop reading out loud, and then Josh asked Drake to stop playing his guitar so loud. And then there oh, was a classic laugh track. moments, classic, classic moments from Jerk and Josh. Yeah, <laughs> very riveting. 
They got into an argument as usual, bickering, the both of them. I was left wondering yeah, why the episode awesome. was called Megan's Big Day. Well, maybe. Because yeah. she'll sh- probably you know, show the up. Ep- in the-, the episode just started. Have some patience. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, like, hey, if it's called Megan's Big the- Day, like she should be in every shot. It should just be like following yeah. her the whole show. From th- from from the <laughs> end of the intro, she should be in every single shot. Otherwise, the episode should be called something else. Yeah. It should I be guess. called Everyone's Big Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suddenly, Walter bursts into the room and starts screaming at them, telling them to stop arguing and that Megan was trying to practice her oboe in the living room. Yeah. They said they were sorry, and they got into an argument with Walter. Keep in mind, I'm giving you the abridged version. They argued for about three minutes. I was getting bored when suddenly I heard the mom's voice. She just yelled, Downstairs, now! Why does she not get a name? (laughs) This is when the episode... The mom! Yeah, that's her name. Her name is, uh, Mom, like whatever the hell their last names were. (laughs) Yeah. This is when the episode took an unexpected turn. It stopped being boring as shit. <laughs> Upon going downstairs, Megan and her mom were sitting at the table with a demonic, creepy grin. Oh, they shared the grin. Oh, they shared the <gasps> demonic grin. grin. Of, of course it's demonic, because, you know, of course, creepy pasta, demons, blood, death. It's, it's hyper-realistic. Lost they episode. Have collect- <laughs> they have a steel donut collective grin. Oh. Yeah. <gasps> The same grin on the cover of the DVD case, I thought. Megan said nothing but, Hi. Boobs. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? I believe in the show, Megan calls them boobs. Like, she does all the time. She's just like, oh, you guys are such boobs. Yeah, but the way that it's said... Yeah, exactly. It's so like, scary. Like, he wrote oh, it no. as if it's, she, as if she it's had, supposed she, to be... You know, she pauses the time of four periods. Because that's guys, not... Maybe, let me... Let me see. I'm going to try this line out, okay? And and I want you to tell me if this seems scarier or scarier. It's just right. 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 chilling. Yeah. All right. Megan thought Megan said nothing, but hi, dinguses. <laughs> <laughs> Is that scary? Yo, no. num oh, nuts. <laughs> hey, dweebs. <laughs> Sup, dorks. So scary, right? <laughs> oh man, you can you you can just not make a line like that sound scary. She could be saying it. I, I don't even know what kind of voice would even remotely approach scary. Yeah, it's, like, it's just be like this high sort boobs. of. Like, it's just be like this chilling turn on a classic line, but you can't use the term boobs and be scary. <laughs> no, that's just not possible. Hi, boobs, Hi. and she started hyperventilating. One thing I... Oh, she's just like, hi, boobs. Even if you try to say it, like, threateningly or whatever, it's just, no. Man, I really want to, like, like hit up, Van- like, Vanessa Cosgrove's Twitter and be like, hey, I found this crappy story. Could you give us a nice I'm creepy... I'm sure her name is Miranda. Like, Miranda? Who's I thinking Miranda about? Cosgrove. Miranda, yeah. Mm. One thing I realized is that their eyes were very shiny, glazed over, and looking almost possessed. Almost, not I hate, quite. I hate not writers almost that... there. I hate writers that... They they hate ever they 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 hate to ever be sure of anything, so it's always almost right. Maybe. They're just everything's almost, almost something. Quite not quite there. Like sh- their eyes were very shiny, glazed over. That's fine. That's good. Okay, their eyes are glazed over. That tells us what their eyes look like. Almost possessed doesn't tell us anything. If you just said they looked possessed, we'd know what they looked like. In, in in our own way, you know, yeah. almost possessed. What, what I don't we know what that imagine, means. you know, it looks like when somebody is possessed. But when somebody is almost possessed, that is the, the same as nothing. Mean? Right. You can't. You don't just stick the word almost. Like, he looked. He looked almost bored. Yeah, yeah. that's what does a that mean? one. What does almost, almost bored, bored mean? Exactly. I was pretty freaked out by now. I could do nothing but think about what the lady that ran the yard sale said. <laughs> Thank God that's off my hands. <laughs> we'll put some echo. Oh, oh no, a scary, a scary video. Oh yeah. no, a scary a throwback. Memory, yeah. in case you forgot. <laughs> the yeah, mom began to hyperventilate forgot. too. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Drake, Josh, and Walter <laughs> stood there, looking scared out of their minds. Suddenly, the screen faded to black. How does it suddenly fade? That's a suddenly fades. It, well, it's, it's very sudden. You know, it just. It fades so quickly that it's almost like a cut, but not quite. Yeah. Not quite. <laughs> almost it's a just... cut. Not quite. <laughs> I, I assume that would be where the commercial break would be to run. Yeah, that would be where it would be to run. A, that's obvious, and B, <laughs> bad sentence. 
Yeah. But what faded back still creeps me out to this day. It spooked him for the rest of his days. Oh, man. What I'm fa- so spooked already. What faded back was a picture of Drake and Josh. But one thing <gasps> was off. They were both hung on a tree branch. I, I feel like that's more than one thing. I also feel that that is incorrect. When things are hung, people are hanged. Yeah. No, they're draped over a tree branch. Oh, okay, that makes more yeah, sense. Yeah, like a like a like a cloth. <laughs> they oh. said you was hung. And well, that was actually right. doesn't necessarily make more sense. Yeah, no, Ooh. one thing was off. Usually they're hung on I don't know, poles or like horizontal bars, but this time a tree branch. It's like blazing mm. saddles. <laughs> yeah. Their eyes were shut and their faces were pale. Megan was seen standing next to them with the same demonic smile. But one weird thing was that it was a still image. It faded <gasps> away to fade back what? to the show again. What? Drake, oh, man, so weird. Drake, Josh, oh, and Walter. I'm so scared right now, guys. Still images. Help. Scary. Drake and Josh <laughs> and Walter. Yeah, they were slowly packing away <laughs> as Megan and the mom rose slowly from their chairs. The mom quietly oh said, God. So, Megan, tell the nice boys about the news. She's possessed. Oh, oh my god. That's a possessed voice. Oh no. It's it's getting yeah. really scary. Oh, that's the almost possessed voice. Yeah, it's the almost possessed voice. Yeah. Megan twitched and said nothing. Meh. Ah. Eh. Bad acting. Eh. She slowly took her oboe out from behind her back and approached Drake, Josh, and Walter. No, Wh- not her oboe. Walter oh, no. ran out of the room as soon as she did. He's like, no. It's the blood oboe. She what sun- the fuck is she doing with that oboe? Oh my god! No. She suddenly ran at the two, screaming bloody murder. Bloody murder, bloody murder, bloody murder. <laughs> That's my favorite airplane Boobs. joke that wasn't an airplane. Yeah. Like seriously, why didn't they ever do have someone scream bloody murder? She began whacking Drake in the head, Josh staring in awe. <laughs> wow, that's oh, amazing! Wow. wow, she has an amazing arm. Holy that's shit. crazy! <laughs> now it's just gonna be the Josh show. <laughs> and, and this is great. And every Rick Lander rejoiced. Yeah. 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 He was too shocked to do anything. I cringed when Drake's head started bleeding and he fell to the floor. Why did you stand there? Well, <laughs> like yeah, I'm just like, eh. Like, she's pretty small in comparison to I'm him. Like, she should have hit him, and he should have been like, ow, and then ran Not away. Not because it's scary, though. No, see, Drake is so scared. So scared. He couldn't do anything. He's too shocked. Josh squealed, and the... <laughs> and the screen faded to black again. <laughs> that classic Rick Lander squeal came from Josh this time. <laughs> yeah, that's where he got it. <laughs> yeah. Knowing something terrible would fade back, I prepared for the worst. The screen uh, showed ba- faded back to show Drake's bloodied body lying on the living room floor and Obo lying next to him. But was no! it but was it a hyper realistic Obo? I mean bloodied body. Yeah. Actually the bloody body was there and the Obo was hanging from a tree bl- <laughs> it's, it's just, branch. It's just no. sitting there on a it's just sitting there the on a tree. The hyper realistic blood obo. No. Once again it was a still image. What Damn back was you, JPEG! <laughs> you fucker! Why would you use a bit now? <laughs> I love this. Alright, this gets really good here at the end. Uh, so what faded back was footage of Josh being bludgeoned with Megan's oboe, and the mom was kicking him over and over again. Megan yeah, eventually cracked that. his neck, and Josh fell to the floor. Wait, he's just standing there? <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Why do they just stand there and get... Like, like the, are they just, it's, oh no, see, God, what's happening is I'm it's being murdered. No, no, see, what's happening is it's they're being stun locked. Okay, every time oh, he right, kicks right. him, he she, gets stunned, she, and his like, the cooldown for the stun is still going when she hits him with the oboe, which yeah, like stuns the, the, him. It's the, bullshit. The, the, That's why the the, the the oboe has been you know has has been enchanted with extra stun chance. So uh huh. Oh, I was about yeah, to, no the. I was gonna make the, a fighting the, the, game. The Drake and Josh, the Drake and Josh game had horrible balancing. I, I was about to make a <laughs> fighting game. Megan was horribly OP. I was about to make a fighting game joke and say that the that you know Drake and Josh, Drake and Josh X I Carly, you know it, the the infamous <laughs> Megan Mom stunlock uh, tag team combo banned in all terms. It's turns. fucking stupid. Like the, the game is just broken at that point. Yeah, yeah, well, just with those two characters, that's why they were banned. It was pretty well made otherwise. Yeah, they're tournament banned. <laughs> yeah, big tourney bands for that stunlock combo. Uh, Megan and her mom cackled an evil laugh. Once again, they just share expressions, laughs together, 
together one you know, you know, huh. like, together like, again. You know, it's it's huh. like you know what you know what they say, like mother, like daughter. That's yeah. True. And suddenly, a, a still shot of Drake and Josh's bloodied bodies next to each other flashed on screen. Thankfully, I didn't Whoa. see it long because the DVD player and the TV just shut off. Don't worry, guys. He 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 ma- he makes good investments. He bought he bought himself a plasma screen and an HD DVD player, and he's set. Yeah, I picked up the DVD and looked at it. Instead of saying special copy, it said Doom. <gasps> oh my god, it's a copy of the Doom Unrated Edition. Oh, man, oh my I god, can't... it's a copy of Doom. I love that game. I can't imagine. Oh no, but it's the Rock movie. Yeah, I was about to say, I can't oh! imagine. That's honestly probably the scariest thing I've seen in this creepypasta. The idea of buying a, a Drake and Josh disc and then getting the Doom And opening movie. it up and there's Dwayne Johnson staring at you. And you're like, oh man, Drake and Josh, that show's alright, but the Doom movie... Excuse me, I was told that this was the season four disc for Drake and Josh, or as real fans know, Josh and Drake, and instead I got this Dwayne Johnson movie and I want my money back. <laughs> it blows dogs, man. I don't want uh, this thing. I felt like such a boob when I bought it. For free. And the TV turned back on and simply said, Turn around, <gasps> every now and then I get a little... I'm sorry. Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's like a... That's the only thing I see or think of when I see the words turn around in black text. I just had to turn around. Behind me, I saw <laughs> Megan holding an oboe. I jumped about oh, 50 feet. No. Whoa, he jumped out 50 feet in the air. He's like, the he's like the Incredible Hulk. I jumped about 50 oh, yeah. feet in the air. My heart started beating rapidly. She had a green Wait. face. Hey, good Why? job. Good job, Shrek. <laughs> yeah. Hey, good job, Shrek. <laughs> it's Shrek, yeah. Scarred on the Why cheek. Why the fuck does she have a green face? She looked like I a don't... zombie. Oh. Ah. She hissed. The loudest hiss I've ever heard in my life. No, no louder <laughs> than that. Much louder. Just imagine that, like, blowing out your speakers. <laughs> yeah. And attempted to stick the oboe into my chest. I swerved no, at the last minute. the blood min- oboe. I swerved at the last minute. I threw it in first and did a J-turn. Yeah, what the hell do you mean you swerved? You're walking around. <laughs> well, Screaming he's my head off. very fast. And dash towards my workshop. What workshop? What do you do? He has well, a... he has a workshop. That's, oh, you that's know what it all is? you need to know. Rick... He has a workshop. Rick Landers spends his day... Rick Landers spends his day, uh, you know... Day, day in, day out, he makes Drake and Josh uh, puppets in his puppet workshop. Yep, nice. and he uh, and he and he put and on all of them he puts a he puts a personally, you know, a personally in MS Paint made Josh and Drake logo. Yeah, <laughs> Josh and Drake logo. He just took the Drake and Josh logo, changed the wording, and he and made Drake like really Josh tiny. Josh on one side to the other side. And he made Drake. Really you no, know, he tiny. just used. He just used. He just used. You know, in MS Paint, he just used the selection tool, right? And, and dragged them around a bit. And like I said, he just he made Josh huge, Drake tiny because Josh matters yeah. more. Josh is way better. <laughs> upon, upon entering the workshop, I sat and caught my breath. How is she pursuing you really slowly? How do you have time to sit? And Don't like, sit oh. down. Get up and leave. I took Run the nearest... out of your house. Well, to be fair, Rick Lander's not in the best of shape. Okay, Guys, that's fair. I don't know, Brian. Just... Oh, Megan, no. please. Like even just even a second. with somebody, I need to catch my breath. Even with like a creepy monster from the TV chasing him, trying to murder him. Even with all this adrenaline pumping, he can't even run acro- into another room without having He's to like, sit shit. down. <laughs> oh man, uh, this is how this uh, how, a lot of workout. I do these thirty second workouts every day, and, and then I'm done. <laughs> like running into a- <laughs> short extreme bursts. <laughs> I took the nearest hammer and dashed back to the living room. Megan was Why? standing That's with an angry face. That's where the danger face. is. What are you doing? She's just Where is your there. survival instinct? Her yeah, own... she's not even leaving the room. She's just standing there. <laughs> with, with an angry face, her oboe in her left hand. I took the DVD and smashed it into pieces with my hammer. Almost yeah. immediately, she faded out, and with the loudest scream I ever heard, disintegrated. She faded out and disintegrated. Um, yeah. Wow. Ah! How, how, how would that look if something <laughs> simultaneously... <laughs> Fades out and disintegrates. Just imagine like a really shitty Microsoft PowerPoint transition combined yeah, with the... another really shitty Microsoft <laughs> PowerPoint transition, That's and you can hear there. that horrible gunshot sound effect. 
<laughs> ever since then, I looked back at that experience as the scariest and most unbelievable thing that's ever happened to me. I don't believe. I agree with you on one of those. Yeah, I visited I don't the house. This for a second. <laughs> Well, so I visited the house where the yard sale took place to find out the owners had moved away, and the house just looked like a barren hunk of wood. Just a solid Whoa, piece. Whoa! Not, not even a hollow space. It's just a big piece of wood. Like a big log. Just, just a huge, huge... It's like a redwood tree on its side, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, I guess, I guess I was mistaken. I guess I was mistaken. I thought there was a house here. There must there be some misunderstanding. I thought there was, you know, and I thought this was not a solid chunk of wood. But here, best ending ever, I swear. This experience is still not explaining. I could find no information about Megan's Big Day anywhere on the internet. Then I turned around. Turned around where? What does that even mean? What you? Turned where are you? Like, are you? Like, were you turning around while you were looking on the internet? Wait, mm -hmm. Did you turn around after reading this? Like, okay, so I'm currently reading this. I'm currently writing this, and now, okay. Then and I just turned, turned around. Period, period, period. Turns around quickly. Yeah. And just stands or up maybe, and walks away from their computer forever. Or maybe he was clicking links looking for information. He hit back. And when <gasps> he hit back... Megan oh. was on his screen holding a bloody oboe. My fucking oboe coming for your ass. Fucking bloody hyper realistic oboe. That was so scary. The blood was very the blood effect was very cheap, but the oboe just, was hyper realistic. Just hearing about it made me jump about fifty feet in the air. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wanna run to the next room and then take a Well nap. actually now that I think about it, I, it makes sense that he would be out of breath. He did jump fifty feet into the air. <laughs> 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 that would take a lot out of a guy. <laughs> that is true. That is very true. It, it, it could be very exhausting <laughs> to jump that high. Yeah, he's like guy with robot legs. You have to you have to yeah. imagine like all the strength he has to output through his legs. Yeah. Yeah, he has... You know what? It's mostly in his back. Ah. Uh, he jumps like a, he jumps like an idiot. Yeah. He, has to... yeah. he jumps with his back. He has to throw on well, you know, he, he he could carry several times his weight with his legs and back. Mm -hmm. Mm. Well, that was not on the Creepypasta wiki because it got deleted from the Creepypasta wiki. I wonder why. So we can't read those comments and there's no comments here. So thank you, Geoshays, for uh, archiving this. And uh, see you Bye. guys later. Goodbye. Josh and Drake is the best. Josh and Drake. <laughs> Josh and Drake. <laughs>